Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can customize the divider line in an accordion block in your Squarespace website. The settings available in Squarespace let us change the color and the size of the divider line and whether or not we have it show up, but there's so much more that we can customize with CSS, and that's exactly what I'm going to teach you. Now, as always, the codes are listed in the description below, but I'm going to go ahead and share my screen to show you all the cool things we can do. So here we are inside Squarespace, and I have two different accordion blocks here on this page. If you hop into edit mode and double click on an accordion block, this is where you can change the divider just a little bit. Under the design tab, make sure your dividers are toggled on. And if they are toggled on, you can choose to show first and last. And here's where you change the thickness and opacity. We have presets for small, medium, and large, or click on these three dots and you can manually use the slider to select whatever value you want them to be. After that, we have opacity and that adjusts the level of transparency. Now to change the color of this line, hop into your site styles menu, select the appropriate color theme here for what you're working with, and you can change the divider line color from all the options there. Now let's get into the fun customization because there's so much more we can do with code. I'll go ahead and select exit. We didn't really make any changes, so we'll exit completely. And we're gonna navigate to website and then scroll all the way down to website tools. This is where you'll find custom CSS. You'll find these codes in the description below, but starting with divider line, we're gonna copy this code right out of my site and paste it in the custom CSS and check it out. Both accordions now have a 2px dotted green border on the top of the accordion divider. These first two lines of code where it says color transparent and height zero, those hide the divider line. So all we're working with is the border on the top of them. Now, if you change the 2px to 12, for example, that'll make it really thick. Instead of dotted, you can say uh, double, spelled correctly, there we go, or dashed. Instead of green, you can use like a hex color code if you want to. All kinds of customizations here. I have some resources listed below if you're brand new to borders and want to learn a little bit more about your options. But that's how you can change the accordion divider to a simple border and get really customized with the actual color, type, and all kinds of fun stuff like that. Now, before we keep going, what if you only wanted this code to be applied to this first accordion and not the second one? We can do that with custom CSS. There's a free Chrome extension that I like to use, not affiliated, just a fan. And if we click on that extension, we can grab what's known as the block ID. This helps me isolate one specific thing. This is a code name that Squarespace gave just this part of my website. So I'll turn off that Chrome extension, again, linked in the description below, and I'll paste that block ID at the very front of my CSS and now check it out. We're getting that custom border only on the left accordion. The right accordion went back to the way it was. Pretty awesome, right? All right, let's work with this accordion and give that one a linear gradient, our next code. I'm gonna turn my extension back on and grab that block ID. I'll paste it right here. And then we're gonna grab the pre-made gradient code I have and customize it. I'm gonna paste this right here in my CSS. I want you to notice really quickly, because I haven't finished typing my code yet, it's telling me I have a syntax error. It says my code isn't complete. You'll always have a syntax error until you're done writing your codes. All right, we're good. Now let's scroll back up and take a look. We have a gradient here, a linear gradient from left to right, one that's a dark gray that fades to transparent. Pretty awesome, right? All right, now let's break apart this code. This very first line says color transparent, leave that line alone. That gets rid of the divider we had before. After that, I've said height 3px. Adjust this value if you want this border to be thicker. Maybe you want it to be 15px. You can get super customizable there, or even one if you want it to be super duper small. After that, we have the linear gradient. I'll go ahead and change this up to 5px so you can see some of the magic happen here. I've set this to a dark gray all the way to transparent, so it kind of fades out at the end, but we can make it really vibrant. We can say we want this to go from blue to yellow, and we'll get a cool effect like that. Uh, maybe we want it to go from my favorite shade of teal to pink to purple. We've got all kinds of cool options here. Again, super duper customizable. You can use hex color codes, web safe color names, however you want to create this gradient. Now, if you know a little bit more about CSS, you can get pretty creative with this aspect here. I'll show you one more trick. I can say border radius 5px, and that's going to curve in the edges of the border. Let me zoom in here for you really quick. Do you see how those corners are curved and now it's a rounded line? Pretty awesome, isn't it? Again, super duper customizable. You can use web save color names, hex color codes, even the word transparent to create that faded effect like we saw first. 
Just adjust the height so that changes the actual height of the divider. If you make this a larger number, it'll be bigger. If you make it a small number, it'll be really thin. And again, you can use the block ID to customize just one individual accordion. However you've decided to customize these codes, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find all the custom codes that we use so you can make your website uniquely yours. Just make sure you update those colors to match the style of your own Squarespace website. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new video every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Oh, and be sure to check out the related videos linked below. I added a few for accordion blocks specific for this tutorial and I think you're going to love them. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. Now available in a Notion database, you can have access to all of the custom codes that I use for modifying Squarespace websites. In here, you'll find selectors, pre-made style snippets, and a bunch of pro tips. So even if you're brand new to all things CSS, you're going to love the content you'll find here. To get lifetime access to this Notion database of custom code for Squarespace, visit insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.